Cataract surgery is one of the top five medical procedures in the U.S. and now there's a quicker way to give you clear vision and it's all done in the doctor's office in about 15 minutes. Medical reporter Mike Ferris takes us step by step through that procedure. Rick Okrapke doesn't let the grass grow under his feet. He seizes every moment possible around the globe. But a few years ago, he began seeing the world through a cloudy lens. Not quite as sharp in the distance, uh, slightly blurry. I was having, it, I'd have to get a little bit closer to street signs on the highway uh, to see him clearly. So at 67, ophthalmologist Dr. Brendan Sumich told him it's time to remove his cataracts. I've had lots of friends and relatives that tell me that once this procedure is done, it's tremendous improvement. I'm looking forward to that. Rick is having the procedure at the Kaplan Eye Clinic in Metairie. It's the first office-based cataract surgery suite in Louisiana. It's more convenient and affordable. First, his vitals are checked. Then he's given medication to relax and numbing eye drops. In the office OR, Dr. Sumich will only take about 10 to 15 minutes to remove the cloudy natural lens he was born with and replace it with a new artificial one. There's only a tiny incision in the eye that will heal on its own without stitches. Rick is wide awake the entire time. The new lens is a trifocal one. Which can fix the distance vision, the computer vision, and the reading vision, which, you know, obviously a lot of patients are interested in. And when the other eye is done in two weeks, he'll have 20-20 vision for life and will never need glasses. Well, for the most part, they're driving the next day. They, they can do office work the next day. They're, they're going out to dinner with their friends the same week. Um, they take some eye drops for a few weeks afterwards to help things heal. Uh, but and the, the vision actually comes back within about a day or two. Just little bitty slight bits of pressure as the work was being done, but no pain and as smooth as could be. Dr. Sumich says genetics only plays a small role in who gets cataracts. Some medications, eye trauma or surgery, along with having diabetes, puts you at a higher risk. Another is sun exposure, something Rick has had in all of his outdoor adventures since he was a young lifeguard. His post-op is done shortly after the procedure, including a vision check, and then it's off to another worldly adventure. Alaskan cruise and then take my niece for a high school graduation to Europe for two weeks. Where there is clearly a lot to see. Meg Farris, Eyewitness News, Medical Watch. Well, the doctor says the average age for surgery is around 65 to 70, but he's had patients in their 20s. 95% of cataract patients qualify for the office-based procedure.